Hi, I'm Joe Zager from The Carpet Guys, and what I wanted to show you today was laminate flooring. Um, back 30 years ago when laminate flooring first came out, it was very popular as an alternative to hardwood because it cost much less money. Um, but what people soon found out over the next 15, 20 years is laminate floors just don't perform like hardwood floors. They, when you walk across them, you hear a tick, 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 like a hollow sound. Um, you would often see the same printed knot on every single board over and over and over again, so it just did not look authentic, it just looked fake, it looked like fake wood. Um, and it kind of got a bad rep. Um, when you get into some entry level laminate products, um, you know, they just, they just don't look very realistic. And these are actually more realistic looking than some of the ones that were out 15, 20 years ago. But what I wanted to discuss to you, with you today is higher quality laminate floors, because laminate is not laminate. In other words, not all laminate's the same, just like anything else out there. There's usually a good, better, and a best. I recommend that if you're going to go with any type of laminate product, you go with a high-end laminate product. A high-end laminate product will still cost you a lot less than real hardwood, but the advantage of laminate over hardwood, obviously, is number one, it's not photosensitive. So if you have it in an application inside a house, such as a living room or especially a kitchen, where you have sunlight coming in through a window or a door wall, well, if you put real hardwood, it's photosensitive. So in other words, when the sun, where the sun hits it, it's going to discolor and change tones and variation of shade over the, over the years. Ultimately, in five to, five to six, maybe ten years, you might have to sand that floor down and completely refinish it for thousands of dollars. Um, with laminate, it's not photosensitive. So it can be in the brightest part of your house, right next to an area where there's no sunlight, and ten years later, that color is not going to have any variance whatsoever. So there's no maintenance as far as having to sand and refinish the floor. Also, since it's very hard to scratch, um, most laminate products, especially the high-end ones, will have an aluminum oxide finish. And aluminum oxide, it's the second hardest surface known to man next to a diamond. Um, it's something that's baked on at a very high temperature, so you can't put that on real hardwood flooring because you obviously can't cook it that hot. But your laminate floors that have that baked on on the surface, um, they're a lot more durable than, than your traditional laminate floors or, or hardwood, for example, or my keys, for example. Um, these are all higher end laminate products. And you can see. And I'm really beating the daylights out of it. And over here is a hardwood product, your natural hardwood floor. Whoops. Didn't take much at all. Just destroyed. Same exact key. Much different product. Aluminum oxide is 10 times harder. It's nothing scratch proof or indestructible. But I'm not trying to tell you by any means that there's any floor in the world that's actually bulletproof. But when you go with a real, real good, high quality laminate, as opposed to like your entry level laminates that were, you know, the big thing of the past or what you find in a lot of the big box stores out there today, um, there's a tremendous difference as, as far as quality. The best part about it is since it's not a natural product that has to be milled from real trees, it's composite, compressed, and then there's a lot of layers of different resins and, and, and glues in there, and it's compressed at a very high compression ratio, so it's a lot harder to dent. And then the surface is basically an image of real hardwood with the coatings on top of it and the, the um, embossing to make it look and feel like a real hardwood floor. If you look, you see the knots. You can, you know, you can hear that where my fingernails are rubbing across those because where the print is, where it shows the knots, you actually see the knot and you can feel the knot. So it actually looks and feels like a traditional hardwood floor. And this, this Mohawk product called Rare Vintage, here's actually a few pieces that I put together. If you want to take a look at this. It looks and feels like a real hardwood floor. And since it's 12 mils thick instead of a 7 or 8 mil product like most laminates, um, it, it gives it more of a thud sound instead of a tick tick sound when you walk across it. Uh, again, you're, you don't see the same knot in every board over and over again, they're all unique. So you might have a pattern repeat every 12 or 13 boards as opposed to every two boards like you have in most, most other laminate products. And I'm actually building a new house in St. Clair Shores and I'm putting this through my entire home. This is probably the nicest looking product that I've ever seen and it's half the price of real hardwood. And I have no maintenance. I never have to stand and refinish it. Um, it'll never discolor on me. Nothing's gonna stick to it or stain it. I've put a few other things up here that I can show you. And again, besides just scratching it, I'll do it right down here. Well, anyway, um, besides the this, this, this scratch resistance ability, a Sharpie marker, for example, will mark up just about anything. You know, here is uh, acetone, which is used for fingernail polish remover, which is very abrasive. I mean, it will destroy just about any type of surface. Um, you know, I can put it right on top of here and take the Sharpie marker right off without discoloring or bubbling up the finish. 
This aluminum oxide is probably the most durable type of, of coating you can put on a, any type of floor. And only the real high-end laminates will carry it, um, especially the, the amount of layers that this will have. Um, Acetone is also flammable, obviously. So this works really great if you have a bar or a restaurant because people will you know, have cigarettes or whatever. I don't smoke, so I'm not really gross. So somebody dropping a cigarette on a floor, if you have a restaurant or a bar, or some sort of application where smoking is permitted. Um, if an accident like this happens, it's not going to discolor or mess up the finish at all. So it's not only 10 times more durable than real hardwood floor, um, but there's no maintenance. And the best part about it is you can get a high-end laminate for quite a bit less than what you'd pay for a low-end hardwood. So if you wanted to go with something exotic, like this product I was showing you over here, this rare vintage, and here's another sample of it. Um, you know, you can go with something like this for, you know, 30% less than you would pay for an exotic, actually probably half the price of an exotic hardwood like this. Um, if you're going with a real chestnut floor, it'd cost you a fortune. Whereas you've got different options, uh, really nice variations of color. And again, some really nice, realistic looking patterns. And again, the pattern doesn't repeat over and over again. And what's also great about everything that we sell here at the Carpet Guys is it's all CARB2 compliant. Um, I'm sure that people have seen on the news about the popular retailer. Uh, huge box chain got busted for um, uh, selling products saying it was CARB2 compliant when in fact it wasn't. Um, so not only are you getting a good product, um, but you're also getting a product that's, that's safe for your family to live with. Uh, inside a residential setting. So if you have sensitive pets or dogs or cats or, or children, um, you're not going to have an issue with the emissions from any of these products. They're all they're all compliant, um, and they're just they're just a, it's just the way to go. Um, like I said, traditionally with laminate laminate products in the past, you know they look fake, they feel fake, they sound fake, they don't last. Um, but if you spend a little bit more money and really get something that's very high end like this, you put it down once, it's done forever. You save thousands and thousands of dollars. You never have to spend thousands of dollars on refinishing it. You don't have to worry about scratching it nearly as easy as you can see here. It didn't take much effort at all to really scratch the daylights out of the hardwood product. Whereas uh, the sister laminate products, um, you know, same manufacturer even. Yeah, and I really beat that. Whereas the same effort on that, it just destroys it. Um, and no matter what type of finish you put on this, and this is one of their hardest surfaces, um, anything can gouge that because it's a natural wood product, so it's softer on the inside, so it doesn't take too much to really get down into the guts of that wood. Whereas since this is man-made and it's, it's baked at high temperatures with the aluminum oxide, it's 10 times more durable. Um, it's just really the way to go. So I would really strongly urge people to look again at the high-end laminates um, as opposed to, um, we sell hardwood, believe me. Uh, we sell a lot of hardwood and, and people that like hardwood appreciate the authenticity of hardwood. It's a beautiful, natural product. Lots of different uh, options available in it. We have thousands of different styles that we have available. Um, but the, the, really the best bang for the buck, if, uh, if you want to get something that's really high quality but not have to pay you know, through the roof, I would look at a high-end laminate product, and especially if you're looking to not have to do all kinds of maintenance and have to clear your stuff out of your house every three or four years to refinish the floor. This is a once-and-done thing. That's eight, five, five.